is a laptop, it still is in limbo. Baby! Misty Moo! Come on, baby! Come on! Here come Mouse and Snuggles with Mummy. Yeah, yeah, you could talk to Misty while I do that. Aren't you giving them kisses? Hey. I'm Stacy. I'm John. And this is Raw Ability Life. life. Good afternoon, it's already been a busy day today. I want to go get my toe checked out, need to check out both toes. My toe has been getting all clear, so I don't need to have it bandaged. So swimming is a go, so that'd be good for Stacy. Um, what, uh, get some last minute like smelly things, like low travel, low deodorants and that, just go, so we can freshen up when we get off the plane. Um, got some smell is that, that we just need to go over there with um what to work to try and track up to what's happening with this laptop it still is in limbo not sure where it's trying to go because it shouldn't take that long to drive a couple hours it should never be sitting up in the repair center right now just waiting for somebody to look at it but it's still saying it's in progress so Hopefully have it doesn't do stupid and lose it. Um, but I spoke to my manager, well one of the managers anyway, and he's gonna and we're gonna talk later to see what he might be able to do to make sure Stacy has a laptop to go away with. So we'll talk to him this afternoon to see what the options may or may not be. Um, hopefully we figure something out between all the managers and me. Um, but you're going to update as soon as we know what's going on with that. Um, Stacy's currently taking a nap right now because she's just tired from last night. Um, she started sealing the memory boxes today, so she has to. She, she sealed the outside of them. She needs to seal the inside of them now. I'm um, going to put felt on them and then ready to go. Um, Misty gets to go for his trip tomorrow. Um, then we get to pack after that. Just make sure everything's packed um, Saturday and get the van up. Well, I'm going to load the van Sunday morning because Stacy goes up to the front of the van, so I'll be out. We'll be out of here. So. Um, Sorry if you hear the fans, it is warm here right now. Um, and tumble dryer in the background, so you probably have the tumble dryer and the fans. Yeah, you. No. Um, oh, yeah, the shopping. Stacy has a funny story to tell you later, so she's gonna tell you that later. Um, Try to think of anything else to say. At the moment, no, so we will catch you later. Bye for now. I think John said good morning to you guys this morning. Um, I got up this morning and then went back for a nap later on. So, me and Misty are chilling out on the bed. Because tomorrow he goes to my friend. And I've already spoke to my friend over messages today. And she told me I had a foggy head. <laughs> Basically, she just said that I didn't need to be so upset because it's just everything going on I'm just getting overwhelmed with the emotions so I'm stroking Misty as I'm talking to you um, 
I think I just feel frustrated with myself because I really tried hard to keep myself well so I could fly but I also really wanted to go see my friend tomorrow and the only thing stopping me now is because I messed my days up and gave my mum the wrong day to travel to the airport so we're now going a day early and staying in a hotel but hey ho in other ways that's a good thing because I'm not worrying now about getting stuck in traffic on Monday morning and not making it to the airport in time so in other ways it's good um so I have not told you something that I've been doing this week um you'll know I've been resting lots of the mattress in the lounge this week so that I can be prepared for flying because flying is going to take a lot out of me but another thing I decided to do this week is not use my pain patch um, I have a I use but butan pain patches and it's basically morphine but it gives it to you every like four hours it gives you a boost of morphine but I chose not to wear it this week um, and it's something I do quite regularly I'll go a week or two without it because I don't want my body to get over used to having it and then they stop working um, but I just felt it was good to have a week off having them and just really rest not push myself to be in pain um, it sounds silly doesn't it? push myself to be in pain I mean like doing ex the things I normally would do so that I'm not in pain if you abandon me baby you abandon me baby okay so yeah like I was saying um, it I always panic and worry that I'm gonna get to the point that my painkillers will stop working and I'd have to go on to something higher or something and I don't want that so from time to time I will stop taking certain ones and go for a while without them and just bring bring my activities down to literally nothing um, just to give my body a rest from taking the painkillers I'm hoping from doing this because I am resting I don't need that extra pain patch this week but also it gives my body a rest from having that extra medication going in but also I will feel the actual benefit of having it when I really need it and that is going to be when I fly in so that's why I do it I obviously am not stupid we have talked to my doctors about this and Sorry, I'm so tired today. I think I'm just tired because I've, I've been quite emotional. I do talk to my doctors before I make decisions like this and they support me if they agree and they don't support me if they don't agree. Um, or if they don't agree, sorry. But I feel this is the best thing for my body and for making sure I cope when flying so when I put that pain patch back on that's gonna give me that extra help I need to fly and then hopefully maybe I may not have to take the extra morphine liquid whilst flying um, because if I can manage to do that that would be amazing um, my always my end goal is always to use as less as I can so you know, it, yes, I've got it, but just because I've got it doesn't mean I have to use it, if that makes sense. I, it's there in case, and so I'm not having to just go to the hospital in absolute agony um, because I haven't got what I need. I've got it in case I need it. Um, my cousin, she's been amazing too. My cousin has posted me some big syringes because I only have five mils and ten mil syringes um, and the antibiotics have been given to me in powder form so that we have to add the water ourselves to make the mixture um, obviously all my medications are liquid form as much as possible because of my um, swallowing difficulties 
she because of her children's disabilities and sicknesses she has lots of huge syringes so she's posted me down a couple of or a few of the big syringes so we don't have to try and sit there in a hotel measuring out 100 milliliters with five or ten mil syringes and the carer that came today kindly 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 gave me a few pairs of gloves so we've got some gloves for john if he needs them for anything and everything is coming together we've picked up the last of my meds yesterday so all my meds are in the only thing that is still worrying me and i think somewhat is contributing to why i'm so kind of emotionally like uh, is the laptop um supposed to be having a nap right now by the way john's gonna be a little bit annoyed at me because i'm not laptop it hasn't even made its way to where it should be being repaired we don't know where my laptop is so john's working with his boss at the moment and they're going to try and sort something out so until i know what's going on there i can't really say anything um but i can't I, I don't know i just feel quite low today i feel emotionally low i feel like i'm sorry my head is itchy too because i need a shower but i'm not pushing myself for the shower because i'm not on my pain patch and my hair is so itchy <laughs> but um i don't know i think it's the emotions of I'm frustrated that I feel like I've let my friend down by not being able to go with John tomorrow to take Misty. And I know she understands and I know she says I haven't let her down but it doesn't make me not feel that I have. And I still feel angry with myself for that. Um, I do have a lot of mixed emotions about the situation as well as in I've never... I've never had to deal with anyone within the family having cancer and I don't really know how to feel and I know that probably sounds really stupid but I don't, I don't actually know how I'm supposed to feel so I don't know how to feel um, and I'm sorry if that sounds wrong but I don't, I don't know I don't know how to feel, I don't and maybe that's just because we're not there yet and we're not seeing the situation. I, I, I just don't know. And I'm slipping down again. Hang on. And I think part of that too is I'm worried about John. I'm really... I'm really... Worried about John. He's doing his normal of... One minute he can be kind of quiet and distant, the next minute he can be quite snappy. And I don't take it personally, I know he's just worried about his dad. Um, he's also worried about his mum, both of us are really worried about his mum and how she's physically going to cope with the demands of looking after his dad. Um, we spoke to her this morning about that, but... I don't know, I just worry for John because I've not been in a situation so I feel like I'm lost and I feel like I don't know how to support him right and because his emotions are changing so rapidly he'll go from being quiet and distant to snappy to laughing and joking and being over the top um, it's difficult to know where to go with him And sometimes I just feel like I'm failing him too, so... I don't know. I feel like my emotions are all over the place. And that's probably not helping him either. Anyway. I don't want to sit here moping at you guys, but... I need to be realistic, and realistically is... I'm not always strong. I'm not. No one can reason to be be strong all the time you know when we started this channel we did not expect this to hit us and you know to hit us 
when we're very first starting this channel for something this serious to hit us within the family it's scary let alone for it to hit us while we're just starting this channel but I can't change life you know I can't change that diagnosis as much as I want to I can't but anyhow I wanted to show you Misty have a look at this he's so cute he snuggled up to me but I guess I was moving too much baby Misty Moo come on baby come on you come out some snuggles with mommy no you're just going to lay down Hello gorgeous, hello gorgeous, hello my gorgeous, hello. Well, I just upset Misty too, I had to clean his eye, he didn't like it. Um, I have, i got to show you something in a bit when John gets home on, on the mattress so I can't go and get her. Um, I started, one of the balloons we blew up for blue came in very handy last night when I was annoyed. Um, I didn't pop it. I um, I got the Mod Podge and some paper and just started throwing glue and paper on it. And I'm not really sure what to do with it. My cousin suggested I continue fit, uh, covering it and make it into um, a hot water air balloon. So I can make a little basket and attach string and things like that. So I might do that. Um, it's amazing what you can make when you're annoyed. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the third box I started... I don't think I'm going to be able to get that one done. The one that's like a jewellery box. I don't think I'm going to get that done and finished in time before we go away. Um, but that's fine. I've still got the present to give the lady who's been helping us. And I will post that to her when we get home and I can finish it. Um, there's no point in me taking it with me because then I'd have to take all the craft equipment I need and it's just too much hassle. Um... bit of a bummer day today I think and, I, and some of this may be as well that Misty's going tomorrow and I do have a big attachment to Misty um, but I know where he's going and I know he's going to be safe so and I know he's going to be happy there while he's there um, you know that I wouldn't leave him with anybody else let's put it that way if anything else I'd leave him at home here and have the cat sitter come in but it's we're going to be gone for three weeks and Olivia knows us she knows are you coming to talk to me again now you are she knows that when we get home I may not be well for a few days and then we'll come and pick Misty up she she understands it and she gets it so hey yo well there is one thing I want to show you, but I've got to kind of do some funky move to try and reach it. If I can reach it, I will show you. Hang on a sec. Look who's come back. Look who came back. You're not angry with me anymore, baby. You're not angry with mommy anymore. Hmm? Yeah, you're not angry with mommy anymore. Hey, forgive me. Bless you. Bless you. Okay, so what did we get? So I'm gonna get it out and put it on the cover here and then I'll show you because it'll be easier. Yeah, you could talk to Misty while I do that. Are you giving them kisses? I actually have just sat the butt camera down and he came over and gave me kisses. Did you give everybody kisses, baby? Okay, hopefully the camera hasn't been smudged by Misty giving you kisses, so Sorry if the camera has been smudged by me to give you kisses, but I wanted to show you all this. So John went out this morning to Wilco's to get the smellies. Now why Wilco's? Well, we can get it a little cheaper in Wilco's for one. For two, we had some vouchers. And believe it or not, we paid 40p for all of this. Let me show you what we got. So we got some uh, anti antibacterial cleaning wipes because obviously where we're staying, um, it's actually got a kitchen and everything and I don't know when we're going to be able to get to the supermarket depending on how well I am so I at least want to take some cleaning wipes with me so we picked up some of them 
we took picked up some nappy bags now i take nappy bags with me for i use these for all sorts of reasons these come in handy for um putting my like dirty syringes um from my medicine and any other medical quick things like dressing wrappers um these are perfect for throwing them away and making sure that when the cleaners come in if they put the hand in the bin they're not gonna get medicine on them or anything so nappy bags are amazing for that and cheap way of doing it so we always take nappy bags everywhere um and then we got oh bye misty uh we got my shampoo and conditioner and um, we got two conditioners i don't know why but i always get through the conditioner quicker than i do the shampoo I don't, I don't know if anybody else has that problem but i do i have done all my life um got me my shower gel i always keep to the same stuff when i find something that i'm not reacting to i keep to it and i keep to it like clockwork i don't change it um then for john he's got his shaving gel he prefers gel over cream and then he's got some deodorants and some body wash he doesn't get links normally he normally gets um links at christmas and his birthday um because it's kind of an expensive one but it was actually cheaper in there than buying the one he would normally get from tesco so that was fine and i asked him to get himself a travel one because he may want to freshen up after getting off the plane and then obviously some razors so yeah believe it or not 40p there's the receipt 40p because we had the um vouchers so yeah awesome and normally we would save the vouchers for christmas but you know needs must needs must and um we only spend 20 pounds of it and that 20 pounds you know has gone to things that we needed to pack smiley wise so I just can't believe we came home and he'd only spent 40p. It was kind of funny. And we've got everything we need, smelly wise and that, to go away with. So, yeah. Goodbye on his part. I got a good husband. I just got it. Well, not just got us. I earlier, when I came home from work, I got us a nice treat. I found a reduced chicken at Tesco. So, I made that. A, a, a lovely surprise for Stacy, and still waiting on finding a laptop because it's still evidently in limbo. <laughs> uh, what fun! Just tracking it. It says it's on the way to the repair center, but it's been doing that since Tuesday. It should have already been there at the repair center, so don't know who's screwing up what. But we will see you tomorrow. Boxes. What? Oh, the boxes are done. Can you seal them or they're sealed? No, I've sealed them and I've got... Yeah, the boxes are sealed, the box felt in. The only thing I've got to do is put the little partitions in the jewelry box. Yep, just got to put the individual compartments in the jewelry box, but it's all done. We just got to buy wax paper on the states to make sure the lid doesn't stay st stuck on it. No, to make sure the lid goes on easy. Yeah, I think it's stuck on it. Oh, that too. But we'll show them tomorrow. But we will show you tomorrow. So here is the balloon Stacy want to sh show you. Got to be careful because the paper is making it top heavy. That's why you're doing that. It's weird. The moment you try to drop it, it's like, wee. Kim suggested to do the rest of the balloon and make it into a hot air balloon, make a little basket for it. But I'm tempted to see if I can make it into a bowl. No, you're not going to be able to make a bowl, is it? But yeah, th this is what Stacy was annoyed at. Was annoyed at earlier? No, I did it when I was annoyed yesterday. Oh. Yeah, she did it what she was doing yesterday. So this is what she'd been working on. I just said you would show it for me because I didn't get to it. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining us in our crazy world. If there's anything else to add to this, screw it. <laughs> but thank you for joining us in our crazy world. It's just been one of them. Hi everyone, it is Friday. Um I know technically it's the next day but I just wanted to add a kind of little message on the end of this vlog because I think both me and John had a rough day yesterday um, for various reasons and 
I kind of, I think it's understandable given what we're going, you know, where the thing that's going on at the moment. And John really wasn't doing well last night. Um, his dad's really not well at all. And I think the sooner we get over there, the easier it's going to be for, well, it's not going to be easy for him, but, you know, it's kind of just going to, seeing his dad is going to help some. So I just want to... I, I don't really want to apologise, I guess, because life is life and you get up days and good days. And yesterday really was not a very good day at all for either of us. We were both a bit overwhelmed and emotional. Um, and yeah, it really wasn't us, but it's life, you know. So, anyhow, I'm going to start my vlog for today in a sec. So, um, and edit this one to get it up for tonight hopefully if it is late up I apologize we are rushed off our feet to try and get ready to go away so